Have you ever wondered if you could catch a fly with two fingers? I bet you can, because I did it right here. Flies are an often misunderstood and underappreciated insect. In fact, without flies, the world we know would be quite different. As this fly moves around with this specially adapted nose called a proboscis that has a sponge-like material dabbing it on everything it touches, tasting everything in search for food. A proboscis is an extension of the nose, like an elephant. That would be the most notable animal with a proboscis. Flies have excellent mobility. In fact, they can fly with those wings. Many animals are considered flies, but not many animals do the same thing flies do. Flies run around tasting literally everything they touch. Then eventually when they find something like say a rotten carcass or old rotten food of some sort, they eat some and then they drop their seeds, their larva, their eggs into that rotten material. At this point, those larva begin to digest and consume that rotten meat or any other kind of composted material. And that's where we get maggots from. We're all familiar with the fly by now. But so many other great insects all get coined the term fly. You got your butterfly. What a beautiful specimen. Then you have the pesky little boogers yeah, like the horse great. fly. The stang fly has been following me around. Anybody recognize that fly? <laughs> He's yellow in color. Yeah, that's a horse fly. Leave a real big whelp on you. Or... One of the most mythological creatures of all time, the dragonfly. Yeah, maybe this isn't the dragon of ancient times, but these insects are just as valuable and as important as almost any other insect. Stay on the lookout for my next video on the dragonfly, and you'll be able to see just how amazing these insects actually are. Flies do so much more than just scrub the environment from rotten carcasses. Without flies, there would be a significant environmental impact playing a really important role in our ecosystem. But there's more to it than that. Not just what they eat, but what eats them. Just remember frogs, lizards, and all other sorts of animals, including other insects, feed primarily on flies. So it's needless to say that these are actually quite important insects. Flies are actually quite elaborate little organisms. Their eyes are highly adapted to their environment with hundreds of lenses able to pick up different things in their environment. Flies don't only use that proboscis to detect their environment. Along their back are tiny little hairs, able to sense subtle changes in their environment, like pressure, wind pressure, or anything coming at it fast, like somebody's hand, say, for instance. We already know how important flies are, so what do you think I'm gonna do next? If you wanna catch a fly, Realizing that those sensory hairs on its back are going to give you away before you even get close. Also know that flies perceive the world in a lot different speed than we do. We see the world at 60 hertz and flies see the world at 250 hertz. That's five times faster than we are. In reality, a fly is not that fast traveling at around five miles an hour for a top speed. They just are able to perceive and view their environment and react before we can even blink an eyeball, literally. After making this video, I realized just how amazing flies are and so many other insects. Please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, and next time we'll see you in the great outdoors. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support, it means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.